Hey friends, welcome back for another video. Today we got a little bit something different for you guys. I'm gonna be showcasing my Philip Zadina collection. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have seen my uh, draft day marks that uh, adorns my background every now and then, but a lot of you haven't seen the rest of the stuff I've amassed over the last couple of years. Um, it's a lot, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but let's go over this stuff real quick. There's stuff from all over the place. Uh, let me preface this by saying that I may have forgotten a few that I've had uh, in boxes. So if there's something you've seen in the past that I didn't mention or bring up, chances are I forgot about it. <laughs> there's just too much, uh, too much to go over. So uh, without further ado, let's kick this thing off. Um, we're going to start out with some 1920 uh, Upper Deck Series 1. I think these were in Series 1. Series 2, never mind. Rookie Materials, uh, Philip Zadina Jersey card. Uh, just a basic red swatch on that, but um, I pulled that one out of a case, so I was pretty happy to get that one. Uh, next up, we got the uh, dual rookie materials. This one's got uh, Zadina and Taco, uh, both red swatches. Uh, Terrell looks really good this year, so excited to see uh, where he goes with the wings. But uh, there's the dual rookie materials. I uh, got this one out of stash here. I think I traded it somebody for this uh, at the card shop. Uh, they pulled it. They're like, hey, here you go. Throw me something my way. I don't remember what it was now, but uh, there's a stature uh, numbered out of 85. Uh, these are the portrait ones. This is a little short print, but uh, Philip Zadina from Stature. Uh, I bought this one on eBay. Uh, this is a second year Philip Zadina exclusives, numbered 67 out of 100. Nothing super special about that. Not highly valuable, but as a PC, I figured I had to get that one. So. Uh, this one, I actually uh, actually pulled this uh, really randomly, and this happens to be the uh, logo variant of uh, Philip Zadina. Uh, usually, it's just the little Red Wings wing wheel down here, but in these cases, they're they say uh, Detroit Red Wings on them. So, pretty happy to get these. Are pretty tough to pull, and the fact that I got Zadina out of everybody, I was more than happy to get that. So that's awesome. Opichi Zadina logo variant. Um, next up, we got. Uh, these are Diamond Mites from Black Diamond. Pretty cool, a little acetate in the background of uh, the arena and all that. So I thought these were really cool. My wife bought me this one off of eBay. Uh, this one's number 12 out of 99. So that's pretty sweet uh, from Black Diamond. So Philip Zadina, Diamond Mite. Uh, next up, this was another trade I worked out. This is for a uh, mahogany um, rookie from Ingrained. This one's numbered 5 out of 10. Uh, pretty tough pull. There's some chipping on this one, I think, uh, on the edge, but uh, it's in pretty good shape otherwise. These things were really known to chip uh, pretty easily from that wood green look that they gave them. So, Mahogany, uh, Philip Zadina from Ingrain. Uh, next up, we got another Black Diamond card. These are kind of out of order, sorry. Uh, this is a Black Diamond, Triple Diamond, uh, number 13 out of 99, Philip Zadina. Uh, this one I'm 100% sure I bought off eBay. I don't remember what I paid for it now. Um, but yeah, there you go. Triple Diamond, Philip Zadina. Uh, another one from 1920. This is a rookie breakouts from Philip Zadina. I'm sorry, 1920 series uh, two. This one is numbered uh, six out of 100 uh, rookie breakouts. These are, I think, I think these are a case hit. So pretty rare card. Uh, yeah, and then we'll continue on with uh, Series 2 stuff. Uh, I do have the entire rainbow. Um, there's a silver foil, uh, Young Guns, Philip Zadina. These are an EPAC thing you have to redeem. I think it's five Young Guns for a silver foil, and I think it's 10 or so to get the next one, uh, which is a speckled rainbow foil. Um, these... This one was not cheap. I think this, this card alone was over $300 uh, just because the amount you have to collect to get it. And like I said, it's all on EPAC. So somebody pulled it up and put it on eBay and here we go. Now it's mine. So Speckled Foil, Phil Zadina. Also have his clear cut. Nothing too special about this, just a standard clear cut. Um, then you have his acetate. Uh, this is an SP Authentic insert. So Philip Zadina's Acetate Young Guns. Uh, not to be confused with the clear cut, these are very different. These are kind of textured. Uh, there's, you can kind of see the cardboard and the acetate. It's all two different surfaces, but pretty sweet. Philip Zadina Acetate. Uh, and then you got his base Young Gun. 
and two grays are there. Uh, here's his exclusives, number 23 out of 100. Phillips Adina exclusives. And then to wrap that up, here's his uh, high gloss, number four out of 10. High gloss Phillips Adina. All right, next up. That's a lot already. I'm about halfway done, guys, I promise. So next up, moving in, uh, SP Authentic. Here's uh, Phillips Adina Future Watch uh, Retro. I think these were from 08, 09, or I don't remember the year specifically. I think that's right. Uh, Phillips Adina Future Watch Retro, number 79 out of 399. That was one I pulled. Uh, this one I pulled as well. This was a redemption. Uh, this took forever to come in. Uh, but there's uh, number 216 out of 999, Phillips Adina Future Watch. Uh, I'm probably going to pick a couple more of these up as the prices get a little lower. I'm not super happy with this this auto variation, but um, yeah, it is what it is. I guess when you sign a thousand cards, you're probably going to slip a little bit. Uh, next up, let's go into let's go into clear cut. These are ones I was waiting on. Um, one of these is the one I was waiting on last video. I was telling you about uh, this one. I was a uh, when I pulled. I, I got a. Uh, Embedded endorsements numbered out of 99 of Phillips Adina. There are ones out of 25 that I do not have that uh, that version, but this is the one out of 99. Embedded endorsements from Clear Cut. Um, and I got his base rookie auto out of Clear Cut. These are not numbered. Um, and we got his exclusives from Clear Cut. These are numbered out of 35. This one's 34 out of 35. Exclusives. Phillips Adina clear cut. Uh, and then this is the high gloss. Uh, I made a trade for this one. Uh, I had to sell some pretty good stuff for this, but uh, he was happy to get this UD high gloss, uh, number two out of 10. Phillips Adina. All right, and then also from clear cut, I love this picture so, so much. <laughs> this is his uh, UD canvas. Um, auto out of 25 this one's number 12 out of 25 look at that stick flex man that's so sick <laughs> like i love this card um not as much as i love this card though um this is the red version this is the one i was waiting on um this one's number two out of 11 the uh red ink UD canvas uh, from clear cut of phillips adina all right i know it's a lot my wife's over here laughing she's like damn it's <laughs> It's a lot of money, yeah. it is. Um, here's a kind of a random one my wife bought me. I think you guys, have, some of you have seen this before. This is a Blacklist Just Rookies Clarity uh, Gold Ink, uh, four out of five, with the, the sickest patch on the planet. Well, top two sickest patches on the planet. Uh, the other one's in my collection as well. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, this is a really, really sweet find. Um, found this on eBay. It was kind of mislabeled a little bit, but uh, my wife sleuthed it out and... Uh, bought it this was a pretty fairly expensive card too but you know out of five you know pretty much what you're gonna have to pay to to get that so uh yeah there's black lustrous rookies uh from ud black Phillips it in. all right moving on uh we're gonna cruise into ice real quick um i got this one this is the uh ice i don't know die cut i guess it is it's got a couple of, like cutouts in it so kind of Kind of cool. It was not, I don't know what the rarity is on these. I mean, you don't see a ton of them, but they're around. So my guess is they're probably under 25 copies, maybe less, uh, of each of the die cut ice premieres. Um, here's the, here's the, uh, I guess his base ice premieres numbered out of 99. Uh, this is what level one, level five, whatever way you want to look at it. There's five levels of these. This is the rarest. Um, only 99 copies. That's number 50 out of 99. Phillips Adina, Ice Premieres. And we got this bad boy. Um, hard to see behind it. But uh, this is a black uh, 101 Ice Premieres of Phillips Adina. I had to pony up some big dollars for this card. But I uh, really, really love ice. Um, spent a lot of time opening boxes of ice. And this one came up on eBay. I was like, I got I to gotta have it. So... Uh, yeah, there's uh, Ice Premier's 101 of uh, Phillips Adina Black. So happy to have that one. And let's move on to uh, Premier. I only have two Premier cards. I know Premier's um, 
Premier is pretty much everybody's standard outside of the cup of collecting RPAs. And there's a huge rainbow collection to have in the regular Premier, uh, all the way from the rookie card, just base rookie cards through the, you know, regular um, RPAs, the gold spectrums and jersey variants of each. So there's a lot of, there's a lot to collect there. Um, so I only have in two, it's not the biggest Premier collection, but I think I, what I have is, is quality. Um, so here's the first one. Um, this is his premier base rookie. This is a true rookie card, and this just happens to be jersey number 11 out of uh, 11 out of 199. So uh, jersey numbered premier rookies, Philip Zadina. It's a pretty nice card. And then uh, you guys have all probably seen this. Um, I know some of you have seen this a lot more than others. Um, this is the uh, Philip Zadina uh, blue uh, 101 uh, from Premier with my number one sickest patch. The thing is insane. So another purchase my wife made for me. Um, I wouldn't have this without her. So kudos to her for having a good eye and the willingness to support my habits. <laughs> so, yep, there's a uh, Philip Zadina 101 from Premier. Uh, love this card. All right, next up, uh, in the last three uh, of my collection, uh, these are my cup cards. Here's a Philip Zadina. Um, it's a Spectrum rookie. Uh, this is number 36 out of 36. I've uh, been eyeballing one of these for a while, and then they kind of disappeared off eBay for a bit. One showed back up, so I kind of jumped on it so I can have all three of these. But um, there's the Spectrum, Gold Spectrum, number 36. Um, then I have his base RPA. Um, this was numbered 17 out of 249. Um, made a deal on with a guy off uh, Facebook site I'm on for this one. Um, absolute treasure of a patch. I, I really like, you don't see too many uh, nice wheel patches, but um, it's a pretty solid one there. So there's a Philip Sedina RPA number 17 out of 249. And last but not least is his gold RPA uh, from the cup, uh, also numbered 17 out of 24, which I thought it was hilarious that my both my RPAs more or less came off the same sheet. So pretty sweet. Um, really, really happy to have this one as well. Uh, don't see many of these come up at all. So, so yeah, so that's my Philip Zadina collection. Um, it may not be the biggest collection, but I put money on it that it is the most uh, high-end collection uh, that you'll see. <laughs> I don't think there's that many more one-on-ones out there, true one-on-ones uh, anyway. But uh, yeah, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you guys liked the video. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. See ya.